Hi, today on my Oki Life, we're going to be working on uh, tail lights for the runaway camper. When I take the Jeep, there's not enough room for all the things that I would like to take with me sometimes camping. Uh, when I when I got the pickup truck, it's no big deal. I can you know put the grill on this extra trunk with the uh, a lot of the stuff for the runaway in the back of the pickup truck but the Jeep Wrangler doesn't have any room in the back even with taking the back seat out there's just not enough room so we got this rack to put on here specifically to hold these two items but it blocks the tail lights so and that is an issue obviously I had thought about putting tail lights on the actual rack themselves you know, somewhere around where the reflectors are. But I decided what I'm really going to do is, I think the better option would be just to put a strip of LED tail lights on either side. And that way, even when the rack isn't on, those extra lights will give this little camper a little bit more visibility for um, people behind because I wouldn't say there's been closed calls, but there's been a couple times I've looked in my mirror on the interstate when I've hit my brakes, you know, kind of hard watching that car behind me come flying up on me and kind of pucker your butt a little bit. So I'm hoping with the uh, extra lights on there, it'll make it a little bit easier for um, people to see, see you braking and, and, you know, signaling for turns and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do today. All right. So I'm in the workshop, work shed, and uh, I think I'm going to pre-assemble some of the wiring before I put it on the uh, camper just so it's a little bit easier to do uh, with it on the bench versus out there on the um, camper trying to do all this. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. Well, here's the uh, uh, lights we're going to use. It's a simple three-wire system. Uh, black, red, and white. White's obviously the ground. Black is the tail light. Red is the turn and the brake light. And that's pretty much how they're almost all um, tail light assemblies are set up. So this will be the left uh, light, and this one will be the right light. And what I'm going to use for wire is I had a replacement four flat um, wire plug system and I'm just going to use the four flats the wires themselves uh, for the lights and then I'll add a uh, white ground wire to each because I'm actually going into the camper I'm attaching it to the camper which is through wood so we're going to have to run this down and ground it to the original uh, tail light bracket to make sure we have a good ground I think I'll work on the left side first. So we have a, a brown wire, which is going to be the tail light. A yellow wire, that will be the uh, brake and the turn signal. I'm just going to strip these wires. I think I am going to heat shrink these. So I'm gonna split this wire apart. Put my heat shrink tube on the wire. Don't forget to do this before you attach the wires or you're gonna be taking it back apart. In fact, I'm gonna do them both now while I'm thinking about it because I will forget I've done it before. Okay, and we got the heat shrink tubes down on there. All right, yellow wire, brake turn, so it's gonna to attach to the red. Let's get this stripped a little bit. Attach these wires together. Now you can solder these as well, but 
I don't think we're going to need to solder these today. So get that up on there. We're going to do the same thing with the uh, tail light wire. I'm just give it a strip a little bit. And we will attach it to the brown, which is our tail lights on the uh, wire harness. Get it fed down in there a little bit. I'm being a little stubborn. But it will go. Alright, we got those. Alright. Then we're going to take our ground wire and we're going to attach it to the white wire on the um, tail light assembly. Our shrink tube on. Bend it over to the thinner wire instead of the thicker wire. Oh, went right past that. Talk on it. All right, we got that in the middle. So now all we need to do is heat shrink these. So let me go get my heat gun. All right, now what we'll do is we'll heat shrink these. Doesn't take too much to do this. You can use a lighter, a match, or a heat gun. I prefer the heat gun. the left tail light so we're just going to wrap this up for now and we'll do the exact same thing on the right tail light This one is brown and green. Uh, the brown is the uh, tail light, green is the stop, brake light, and the uh, turn signal. So the green will go to the red and the brown will go to the black. like it might so all right the next thing to do is uh go out there we're going to kind of figure out about where i want to set these things um i got this uh cord cover kit that i'm going to use to run the wires down the side of the uh camper that way the wires aren't just flapping around uh, it's got some straight pieces and it's got some uh, 45 elbows in it. So as soon as I figure out how we're going to run that and where we're going to place it, uh, we'll get to installing that next. So I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we're outside. Got the stuff moved off the, uh, the runaway. I think what I'm going to do is attach... The tail light about here. 
I had contemplated putting it up over here, but I want to be able to caulk that seam on this camper when it's due. And I want to be able to get it in there for the most part. So I'm going to bring the uh, tail light over to about this position here. And I think that's uh, the best idea for now. I'm going to use this conduit to um, place on the camper to run the wire down. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some acetone and clean off this surface here. All right, the first thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning this area where the uh, adhesive for the conduit's going and a little bit of where the um, tail light's going. So I'll use some acetone to clean the surface. how dirty this thing is. Oh, it's crazy dirty. I know, right? And we didn't wash it when we came back from that last trip, that's why. All right. Nice and clean, all right. Now that that's done, I'm gonna figure out the spot, which I already kind of have about right here I want some room between here and the caulk and the conduit because general maintenance on this runway this needs caulked every once in a while so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a pilot hole carefully very carefully we're just drilling a small pilot hole just to get through the uh, aluminum we definitely don't want to go all the way through the wall The wall is only a half inch thick or three quarters of an inch, so. Oh, we're using stainless steel screws. I will tighten it up with a hand screwdriver just because I don't want to strip it out, so. I'll finish tightening it up with a hand screwdriver just because I don't want to even accidentally strip this. Okay. Now we're going to take this conduit and I'm going to mark it and cut it where I need it to be. take it and just cut it with the side cutters here. Okay. I'm gonna peel the strip off. So we can see the adhesive. Now this ship from Amazon a little crooked, so I'm gonna try to straighten it out a little bit as we do this. All right. Now that leaves me enough room to get the caulk in there 
caulk the sides of this when it needs it. So we're gonna run the wires down in there. And this is a little bit of a of a pain, but they'll go. The only trouble is gonna be where all these splices were that I made with the shrink wrap. Getting them in there is not going to be no easy task, but they'll fit. And we'll just run this all the way down to the end. I think this will keep the uh, wires fairly secure and make it look a little bit cleaner than just some wires sitting down there. And then what we're gonna do is we'll run it down and we will attach inside to the existing wiring harness, so. All right, we're gonna cut this with the side cutters as well. Try to give it a little bit of a custom fit in the, uh, the trailer. That's pretty close. Not gonna be perfect, but pretty close. And then what I'm gonna do is come back with some silicone. And I'm gonna silicone this in. And then I'm gonna come around Not exactly sure we need the silicone here, but I'm gonna go all the way around it. Not too bad. Can never not have enough silicone. All right, now we're basically going to do the exact same thing, same thing to the other side. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys that per se. Uh, if I do, it'll probably just be a fast forward kind of thing just because it's gonna be identical to what we just did, so.
All right, so now we're gonna hook up these wires. I wired this trailer a couple years ago, so I know that the uh, right color wire is going to the right uh, turn signal and brake light. So all we really have to do is match up the yellow and the brown on the left side and hook up the ground and we'll be good to go. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do, strip the ground wire over here. make sure this ground contact is really tight. 90% of light problems are grounds. And now we'll strip the brown wires. And the brown wire on the original. We'll slide up a heat shrink. And now we'll do, actually I think we'll Heat shrink this now. And now we'll do the brake light turn signal wire, which are the yellow wires. Same process. Wildlife having a heyday. Never quiet on the homestead. And we'll heat shrink this one. Just for extra measure, we'll put some electrical tape on it. Just because this is underneath where all the weather is. And... All right, and I'll come back and I will zip, this, zip tie this back up to the frame. But for now, we'll head over to the other side. All right, we're gonna start on the uh, right side now. It's gonna be the exact same basic uh, procedure as the other side, so let's get to it.
straps and get that strapped up. All right, so th there you have it. It's a relatively easy job to do. Um, doesn't take much tools or know-how. Like I said, I rewired this trailer uh, a couple years ago, so I know the colors are the correct color wires for their job. So you may run into a, if you've got something that you know somebody else has done, they might have got the wires crossed or something. So you could test the wires to make sure before you actually seal them up and get them wire taped together and you know stashed up underneath the trailer that um, they're correct. Uh, but like I said, I, I wired this trailer so I know it's done right. And uh, so it was just as easy as green to brown, yellow to brown, and run to ground wire. So it's a pretty easy process. Um, I think it's gonna give pretty good visibility. Definitely gonna help a lot. Even if there's nothing on and the rack's not on, it's gonna give drivers a little bit more of visibility of my intentions of stopping or lane changes and such. So I guess that's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll try to get back with you when I can. Peace.